Boeing has studied on numerous occasions ways to develop a 747 further, even in the form of a full double-decker 747. Why did Boeing believe this was a good idea, and what were some of its biggest challenges? Stay tuned right here on Globetrotting. Welcome, do subscribe to the channel if you're new for much more aviation analysis content as the year comes to a close. The Boeing 747X sounds like an aircraft from the future that we haven't seen flying yet, and you'd be right in one part of this. However, it is not precisely from the future. It was actually an aircraft that first appeared decades ago, but never got off the ground for many reasons. Boeing researched the idea of a Super 747 as it could have been best described as a plane that would change change the aviation industry forever. They conducted this study as Airbus progressed with its A3XX, later down the line to be known as the A380, and what would turn into the world's largest passenger plane. Boeing planned radical changes, including a new flight deck that would have been based on the currently flying 777 at the time. In addition, the interior would be based on the 777, with the aircraft being able to fly over 16,100 kilometers or 8,700 nautical miles, while on top of that, carrying 430 passengers. However, it did not necessarily stop right there, as they also thoroughly explored the idea of the 747X stretch, which would have had a range of only 14,500 kilometers and 7,800 nautical miles, considerably less, but it would carry well over 500 passengers, depending of course on the configuration that the airline in question would have opted for had it ever come to fruition. The 500 plus passenger quota is much closer to the A380's total capacity as you know. While Boeing continued to study this 747X, it would always struggle to garner interest that would be enough to say welcome in orders for customers and really put a stamp of approval on the total development costs that it would incur. As they continued to research the aviation industry and trends moving forward, there was a realization that you could argue we were moving slowly but surely away from these quad-engined aircraft that we'd come to know and love. So with not enough interest, Boeing simply could not justify the eventual development and subsequent risks associated with moving forward on production for this 747X, the first 747 derivative that they explored, and it certainly wouldn't be the last as they continued to attempt to find ways to develop the iconic 747 series further. They wanted to build upon the success of the Queen of the Skies and make a new advanced aircraft that airlines would love. Ultimately, the result, as we know, would be the 7478. In terms of it being a commercial success, well, that is totally up for debate. One of the biggest challenges experienced regarding the 747X, though, was the technological advancements that allowed it to stand out as an even better successor. It's ultimately something that, regarding the 747X at least, was not evident, which made for quite the problem. How could any airline, whether it be British Airways, Air France, or even Qantas, justify the purchase and backing without actually enough advancements over existing variants in the 747 families? It wasn't possibly a good investment nor upgrade, because in principle, the upgrade was not large enough to justify. You can compare this to the purchasing of a new phone. Sometimes phones barely advance between generations, but if you're on a phone that is six years older, obviously the gap and differences are going to be huge and worthy of your investment. While you could definitely argue that some clues of the 747X's existence did extend through to the 7478, it is still a very different aircraft. But what can be argued is, Boeing was always continuously looking towards developing this 747. I just think they didn't specifically know what would work and what didn't, and it took a lot of trial and error. What are your thoughts on Boeing's proposed 747X? Is this something you would have liked to have seen flying within the aviation industry? Maybe a perfect rival to the A380? Let me know down below. Thank you very much for your support and tuning into Globetrotting. We've really appreciated the support on the channel since launch and hopefully long may it continue. Do take care and be safe and we will see you next time. Oh, <laughs>